and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Kefnet control. So the story behind this deck is we are playing a control deck without Planeswalkers. That's right. With War of the Spark, there are just way too many Planeswalkers everywhere. They're just, every deck is like 10 Planeswalkers. It's too much. So we are going to be playing no Planeswalkers in this deck. Instead, we are playing the Immortal Sun to just shut off our opponent's Planeswalker. So wanted to play a deck built around like Immortal Sun is the main win condition. And that's where we came, that's where I came up with uh, playing Kefnet with that. Because Kefnet is a, is a good control finisher that just keeps coming back. Even if they kill it, it'll come on back. And, you know, it kind of acts as a Planeswalker also while providing a kind of fast clock where if you reveal instants and sorceries, you get to cast multiple copies of them. You know, you get to, copy it and cast it and still keep it in your hand kind of thing. We have a whole bunch of Enter the God Eternals because this card's really good against aggro. Uh, it works really well with Kefnet, of course, and it just gives us another win condition there where you know we can amass four, but then if we play another one, amass eight, and so on. If we have our Mortal Sun out, it makes it even bigger. So that's kind of our, our deck here. We're just trying to punish all these like Super Planeswalker decks. Um, and really have a, a control deck that's pretty good against aggro honestly like as you can see here we're really slanted to beat aggro with all of our removal spells sweepers and everything in the main deck uh, so our sideboard is is going to be where we pick up our points against other control decks with duresses and the gates a whole bunch of elder spells diva sanities to, to bring in in the control matchups um, unmoored ego for command the dread horde and arc light phoenix and nexus fate for those things then we got just a couple extra sweepers in case we want Cryler Canariums against like Mono Red, Ritual of Soot against like uh, Mono White, uh, against Wild Growth Walker decks and so on. But yeah, let's go ahead and give this a try. Kefnet Control. Let's go. go on. Where's my Lazav? All right, so we're going to be playing five matches in ranked the ranked... Ladder was just reset, so we're back in Platinum. Brand new season. We'll be playing five matches. We want to go three and two. That's that's ideal. But yeah, five win dream. That'd be nice. Uh, my favorite deck to play is Bant Arcbow right now. Um, the list that says Bant Arcbow at MCQ from this past weekend. That's my favorite deck to play right now in Ranked. We played it last night. But playing some new decks today. Alright, Discovery, find spells. Oh, well, those are spells. Um, yeah. So this looks like Phoenix. I definitely need the Contempt. I don't really know if I need this Immortal Sun too much, but I don't really have anything else. And so I think Immortal Sun's better than a random draw. Oh, really? This is the same opponent from last time? That's kind of crazy. So yeah, they also changed their deck. Well, Bouncing Crackling Drake doesn't make a lot of sense. This was Cast Down. That would have been better for us, but it's not Cast Down. Yeah, I really liked Hydra. Yeah, for sure. That could make sense. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense to me, playing...
Honestly, I just don't want to take this six here and then take another six. Or, you know, more. Honestly, it could just be, you know, taking more damage. So just bouncing that Drake, getting that out of here. Because then next turn I'll play this Immortal Sun and then, you know, I don't want to take all the damage that that would have dealt to me. Hmm. This would kill the Drake. Or, I mean, get rid of the Drake, at least. Nah, I gotta just play this card and start drawing two cards a turn. And then we'll Thought Erasure after this, because keeping that, because that lets us, you know, we can Thought Erasure plus, like, the next two things. They probably have more Crackling Drakes or something like that. Good job, Tzar. Already got your 15 wins in Popper. Way to go. All right, find removal. Uh, that's kind of removal, I guess. Removal if we need it. Ooh, that's removal. Okay. So am I... Let's start with this. I know this isn't good to mill the Phoenix deck, but I kind of just want to mill them. Sure. Because I, I don't have, you know, a ton of win cons in here, and yeah, I know it's bad because you know them getting back phoenixes is obviously a big problem. <clears throat> but with me having the cry of the carnarium on top, like I, that I knew about, I didn't really mind them getting back phoenixes for a turn because of this card, basically. So like this, this was like a good turn for them, to, for me to mill over phoenixes and then get them, and then get them back, kind of thing. So they have one phoenix in the graveyard right now. Cards I have over here, seven. Ooh, okay. Did not double shock my 5-5. Five five. I was wondering if they were going to do that. No, my two calf nuts.
Alright, well they can kill my thing with one shock. I'm still exiling the Phoenix though. So why not cry first? Um, I wasn't really expecting them to block too much. Like, they didn't block the previous turn. I was trying to attack for five. Um, but yeah, the, with with the block, it, you know, it hurt that I didn't just cry first. All right, so getting that other cry in here, getting Unmored Ego in here. Um... Mortal Sun was like actually good and <laughs> just got us so many cards. So I'm a little worried about. All right, so a few things here. There's, you know, milling them is not very good. I, I basically don't want to mill myself with this deck kind of at all for how little, like, win cons I have. I definitely always want to mill my opponent. Milling them is not very good. But it do, this does kill Drakes, and I don't have a lot of answers to Drakes. And if I get if I do get to Unmoored Ego, the Phoenixes, um, then milling them out is, like, actually a thing we can kind of do. Um, campaign is not great here of, like, letting them discard Phoenix. Possible I need a ritual of soot because of Sahili. I have the cry of the carnariums. Like, are, is that enough against Sahili? Oh, maybe I should have taken out one of the tyrant scorns. I really need to save Cry of the Carnarium for whenever there's Arc Light Phoenixes out there. I can't really waste Cry of the Carnarium on Sahili. That's the hope. That's the hope. Uh, someone says here with with Cry Vraska and like with Cry of the Carnarium, Vraska's Contempt, and Unmoored Ego, milling them shouldn't be too much of a problem. And that's that's certainly the hope. Yeah, I guess it's just Blast Zone Pump It. You know, we won't be able to get this Watery Grave in. And of course, want the second Black Source in play, too, for Kefnet. In case we reveal, like, in case our top card's like a Contempt, you know, something that's double black. Uh, 
Healy's really annoying. All right, we got another Crackling Drake out of there. That's good. Bleh. Do I have your attention now? Hmm. So I can cry plus moment of craving this Drake. I just use so many resources. Do they have a spell pierce over there too? I kind of want to just play the immortal sun. That's unfortunate. Yep. If I would have done if I would have done the cry moment of craving, I'd still be dead because they would they would still be able to have the like they would have still countered the moment of craving. So like that cry cry moment of craving would not have saved me. Because after I cast Cry, then I cast Moment, and they counter Moment. Um, and then they make, they also make a 1-1, one, one, and that 1-1 one, one copies their Drake. So yeah, we were dead if I went that line. Get that third duress in over a tyrant scorn. No, the token would have been made on my turn whenever they cast the uh, spell pierce. I was just I was a little unfortunate that we you know we got rid of two drakes and they had another one. That was a little unfortunate. Have their own Kefnet. All right, we need our Kefnet to carry us. This is actually just fine for us to do to bounce the 
Crackling Drake because we're just going to be, you know, like if they just spend their turns, like just keep recasting Crackling Drake kind of thing, it's going to just really slow them down tempo wise. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a line I could have done. What y'all are saying, if I cast Cry first and then attack with a two-two, and they have to block with Crackling Drake or Sahili takes two, and then Sahili can't minus anymore, and then cast Moment of Creating after that. This isn't going so good after the Tyrant Scorn. Just no lands for us right now. I mean, sorry, all lands for us right now. I just want to get a land out of my deck. And I wouldn't mind getting a land out of their deck also, keep them from drawing land. Kind of thing. Hopefully this makes it difficult for these phoenixes to come back. Perfect. Now we get another removal spell here. There we go. Just had to get to those removal spells. I mean, look how many lands we'd already drawn. We were going to draw removal spells eventually. It's not too surprising to draw a couple there. We're going to draw them eventually. So Discovery can help us find black mana. Here. <laughs> yeah. You had... Yeah, that was, that was tough for you, Muck. GG's. GG's muck. Yeah, you had quad Drake, triple Phoenix. That was your hand there. You had all four Drakes. Like how you were drawn. Yeah, because you didn't hit that fourth land even after like casting the, the Drakes and everything there.
All right, start with Thought Erasure. Oh no. This is... Okay, hopefully this is not a... It doesn't seem like it, but hopefully it's not... Um, like a, a Nexus or a Wilderness Reclamation kind of deck. So even like a Mass Manipulation deck will be kind of tough for us. It's like Bant Manipulation. Do I want to save that for Dispersal? I don't think so. Dispersal, though, would be really good against Manipulation. So like that's that's the thing about like saving dispersal. I mean, we would have, like it was it was a really good discovery because we got rid of two lands. So can't complain at all about that discovery. But if they do have like mass manipulation and steal my Kefnet, then I would have had dispersal to put the Kefnet back in my hand. So that's un unfortunate. So we're going to not do that. We don't have enough mana to cast both of these. So we'll just blast zone. Good job, Joyf. Hey, Yud. The best Hydroid Crisis deck is probably one of these, like, Simic or Bant real big mana decks. Hmm. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye will do that. Well, that's a great card. I don't think attacking for five makes sense when they can attack back for six. <laughs> yep, that's what it is. It's it's Kitty Love trying to say, pet me, pet me. Well, that's the reason why we had Blast Zone on, too.
<clears throat> so in case of another manip manipulation, I'm going to keep the dispersal in hand this time. So I know that's not as good of like, now I don't have like specific planeswalker removal right now where like this could have killed it. But again, because of like them stealing stuff, I think I want the bounce spell to be able to steal stuff. Oh, Frill missed at cost four also. This isn't going to work. Whew. They could have chose Frill Mystic. That probably should not have worked. I guess they were not happy about that. <clears throat> All right, and Moral Sound was shutting down their hand. Their hand was a bunch of Planeswalkers. So we want... I want to, like, Ego Manipulation or something. <laughs> yeah. Was it? All right, so we want probably want like negate duress. I don't know, like everything. Like we don't really have bad cards too much in this matchup. It's like everything has a use. You know, like negate duress, elder spell, cry the carnarium, ritual of soot. All of this stuff has a use. It's just what, like, how do we want to, like, what all do we want to bring in? How do we want to use it? Kind of thing. But I mean, like. Like, these things that kill mana creatures are important because they have a lot of mana creatures. Um, Cry the Carnarium is, like, good because of Frilled Mystics, specifically. Give me this Elder Spell. I guess we're going to try taking out um, Enter the God Eternals. I am worried about having enough things to win here. I probably don't with just having Kefnet now. I probably took out too much stuff. Or too much, too many win conditions. Just the trick for this. 
This Nart set's really a problem for me. Keep an open mind. Because I do not get to draw an extra card with campaign or discovery. All right, so we'll have Contempt for Narset, and then we have to start figuring out how to deal with these little creatures. Yeah, I think I, I brought in one Elder Spell. My mind needs a rest. Nice, getting another crisis out of there. So I know I have the blast zone that can blow up the Lanowar Elves. Um, but obviously, but I want to have enough mana for a Mortal Sun here. Don't really want to destroy a land. Hmm. It's unfortunate. There we go. Alright, let's look for Ritual of Sit. Negate's not bad. Honestly, these two cards are pretty good, but I guess... Let's see, so I'm going down to 7. Yeah, I can... I can handle that. I can handle 7. Oh, right. They're going to bounce Krasis. Right, right, right. Well. Here we go. Hmm. I guess I should have just contempted the Krasis and tried to draw the land the next turn. I didn't really consider the bounce Krasis thing. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Go down to one right now. They just attack out. Could really use draw a ritual of set. Ugh. Five cards over there. Well, if they have a Frilled Mystic, I'm dead. Uh, 
Oh, right. Can't do stuff instant speed. So yeah, why did I, I didn't even need negate to begin with? Can't even do instant speed stuff. <laughs> yeah, I can't use instance. Uh, forgot about that. All right. I haven't been playing this league very well. Reset. Relax. Let's try again. Hmm. I'm off these negates. Yep, time to refocus. <laughs> Yeah, I needed to. I definitely needed to contempt the the previous turn. I should have contempted the crisis. Should have spent my turn doing that, and then and nothing else. Like maybe discovery first for six land, and then contempt. Yeah, negate can counter something, just trades one for one. Narset's gonna get like at least one card, maybe two. And um and still take a card from me to answer. Um Yeah, we can find other lands. Yeah. That's kind of unfortunate. Hey, what's up, Guru? Let's slow this down. Let's try this.
All right, what can you do, thief? This might be a bad idea. That's unfortunate. Bleh. So basically, I attacked Teferi there instead of them because... Like, really, we were going to be looking for, like, something to deal with that Teferi anyway. And, you know, not being able to play at instant speed does certainly hurt whenever we have multiple um, instants in hand. This, this, this isn't getting better for us. Not looking good. I was definitely relying on that thief there. I don't think I have much of a chance now. Sad. I can't even really like cast the contempt on the Teferi because you know they counter it with Frilled Mystic and then bounce the Frilled Mystic again. I've got time. Well, now we need to just be able to deal with the Frilled Mystic and Brontodon somehow. We can't we can't play anything in response because of Teferi. So that's why I wasn't contempting in response kind of thing. In response doesn't work for us. But yeah, that this was all this game I didn't really have a chance for that second game. I could have played the second game better. That's where I regret how things worked here. GG. All right, one and one. Anyway, we had uh, Derbity with that Twitch Prime sub there. Sorry, I didn't get my hype votes in the channel. Like everybody else did. There we go. That's our fifth sub of the day, so I'm going to go ahead and crack a pack of War of the Spark that we just got today from the Mythic Rankings. All right, we got the Mythic Wild Card. I don't... Yeah, playing this deck without Enter the God Eternals would be pretty tough. I mean, I guess you just play... 
I guess you just play Thief of Sanity's main deck or Hostage Taker. I guess Hostage Taker could be a replacement. Yeah, if you need a replace, I guess. Yeah, Hostage Taker. That actually works kind of well. Uh, yeah, I played a little bit of the Popper event. I have a Popper deck, a Simic Popper deck up on the Stream Decker page. Where you can do exclamation point decks to find that. Cryo! Four Living Twister, two Mending of Dominaria. The rest is up to you. Okay. All right. Thanks, Cryo. I'll write that down. Uh, what day do you want me to play that? Uh, tomorrow we're doing the sub battle stream, so it'd be like Sunday at the earliest. So four Living Twister. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. Two Mending of Dominaria. All right, so we're playing against uh, Grixis. All right, Tuesday. Cool. What slot? First, first through fourth. Which slot do you want? Yeah, honestly, this deck probably could use. Oh man, I need land, but I can't get rid of that. This deck honestly probably could use a Arch of Araska. Maybe that instead of the second Blast Zone. I've really liked how blast like the extra interaction the blast zone provides. All right, well, did not get that land drop. Unfortunately. The focus and meditate and prepare. Blah. Our idea to shovel this up. We don't have any lands in this part of the deck. Let's just shuffle this up. And get our second blue source for sure. So even if we find another swamp, we could still play Kefnet. And there goes Kefnet. Just like our hopes and dreams of winning this game. We have five dead cards <laughs> in our five card hand. It'd be nice if we could just discard our hand. Be able to turn on this as Kanta. Yeah, escape shift. I will remake the multiverse in my... I have other plans. My intellect is without limit. All right, contempt, please. Well, now they have negate. <clears throat> to protect Bolas. So I'm not going to be able to, like, get rid of the Bolas before it ultimates. So 
So this is 64 if we play all of these things. Oh, we can get rid of this. So 60. I don't have a ton of removal for like their Thief of Sanity. So yeah, Thief of Sanity or Legion War Boss on their side could certainly uh, kill us. No, I, there's a we're gonna be playing a donation deck later on also that I don't know the donation deck yet though. Uh, but Joy donated for the last slot today, but I don't I don't know the deck yet. Yeah, Bedevil kills Mortal Sun. They could have Bedevil uh, and Grass Rampage. Yep, yep. I mean, Immortal Sun's still so powerful that I'm not taking it out because it's so powerful. But yeah, our opponent will have answers to it. Have better answers than like Esper does, for example. Oh, I need to get the. I need to finish getting Teamer Hydra up on the YouTube channel. Yuck. So we get a scry. <laughs> this has everything we want except for lands. Uh, yeah, I guess so. We got another one. The surprise thief. Do you want to just keep drawing lands, ideally? Because we'll have enough spells, like from like the spells that we get with Thief of Sandy. But of course, Thief doesn't get land drops. Good. I don't take Gravager. I'm gonna go Narset though, so that I get to cast Duress this turn. I have two Nickel Bolas Dragon Gods. We'll take one of those. If you wish to surrender now, put thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, the reason why I cast the other thief right away instead of casting Disc like Duress plus Ascanta is because with my opponent taking it, um, I felt that it was going to be um, a very good card against them. Dispersal is actually going to be pretty good for them. Like, Dispersal would put their Nickel Bullets back in their hand and make me discard. I have 
just the trick for this. Alright, but all of the multiverse will bend to my will. Your existence is pointless. Six cards over here. So if I if I play as Kanta, I'm not going to be able to play a Mortal Sun next turn. And I think ideally I want to play a Mortal Sun next turn, so I'm gonna just play the Discovery. But that's that's perfect. Now I get to leave a Mortal Sun on top, so that if our opponent does have a Thought Erasure here, does don't get to take it. But yeah, that's that just goes back there. We discard uh, as Kanta. Contempt. Could probably discard Contempt. No. Yeah. Oh well. Guess it doesn't really matter. We're gonna discard the other one here. Or just discard them both. Wow, that worked really well. Glad I saved the Field of Ruin. <sighs> I was considering playing that Field of Ruin. I'm glad I didn't. I forgot once again. I think I'm going to Field of Ruin here. So I want to do this upkeep so our opponent has less information about what their draw step is going to be. When they're making the decision of like what to take, they don't know what they're drawing yet. All right, Narset down. Such violence is upsetting.
All right, so we did see Legion War Boss in that game. Probably should have a little bit more to deal with War Boss, like something over there. Take out the third Elder spell for a Cry of the Carnarium. Just a little bit more. Yeah, yep, Immortal Sun, that's why I didn't minus Narset earlier. No thought erasure. We also have no thought erasure. That's not ideal. I was hoping they were playing uh, Narset. That's perfect. <clears throat> perfect. Love it. GG. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hawkeye's not on my lap anymore. Y'all need to tell me that I still have my camera down like Hawkeye was on my lap. Sorry, that was embarrassing. Mono red. I wouldn't mind facing some mono red. It's not like our hand is great against mono red, but I wouldn't mind facing some. So we do get to use Remani to uh, shuffle here, but it does force them to do that. I don't know, the Pyromancer hits us for a couple, you know, hits us for two, basically just not getting hit for two. Just want to keep my life total really high, play this Immortal Sun, and try to start drawing two cards a turn. That's my plan. Uh, the deck that I was rocking the, the Popper event with was Simic. Which you can find the list there. It's in there. Look for the Simic Popper from today. That's unfortunate.
Alright, draw two cards a turn. And hopefully do well with that. Oh no. That was a good draw. Remodi's awesome. Perfect time for Remodi Reveler. Perfect. And a really good time for this card. So we got rid of a Steamkin and two Lightning Strikes. That's good. Attack. And that's why we're playing four Enter the God Eternals. That card is great. Let's get the extra cry, extra set. Um, and a duress, and I don't want the campaigns. I want negate instead of dress. Take out one immortal sun. Maybe I want the negates, not the dress. Yeah, let's go with this. Oh no! You're playing your travel decks against decks that are just full of answers. It's unfortunate. No. I think duress is better. Well, the thing is, is I already have the thought erasures, and if we get to the late game, which is what my deck is designed to do with, like, all the other cards are designed to get to the late game, and if we get there, drawing, like, top decking discard is just going to be a dead card, so I don't want to just have, you know, I don't want to have, like, you know, six discard spells, because if we draw them later on, not going to do anything. So instead, I'm going with the four discard spells still with the Thought Erasures and having a couple in the gates where they can actually be good late game spells to draw. Show us you're alive. My assistants are painfully sloppy. Hmm. Honestly, I'm just going to pass here. I could see like a Chandra. That would want to negate. Or if there's... Oh, they're so cute. I don't... Anything like that. Looks like they have, you know, they missed a land drop. Looks like they had a whole lot of cards in hand. So, could have, like, multiple four, like, big four mana things, including, like, Frenzy, which, you know... So one to have the thought erasure for for the next turn for frenzy. Dang.
<clears throat> Alright, dispersal that. Don't gain four life right now, but that's probably still just a, a good card to have available f for a little later. All right, we got rid of one frenzy. Counter or discard? Perfect. So if we drew a land there, I was going to enter the God Eternals and... I'm going to enter the God Eternals and have Negate available. I could see Viashino and Getu Lava Runner here as the play. Think we need four Kefnet in the deck? I could see that. Kefnet's just awesome. We're usually doing a whole lot better when we do have Kefnet than whenever we don't have Kefnet. Or like then, like compared to when we don't have Kefnet kind of thing. Kefnet is pretty awesome. I think we should gain the life, right? Because it gets exiled, and then, yeah, we gain life. <clears throat> yep. Okay, down to five. Please don't kill me. Oh, no. That's going to kill me. Well, dead to everything. No fire, no steel. 
Dead to actual everything. But we're up a game. So we'll be going to game three here. No, you're just fuel for the fires of freedom. <laughs> All right, so Carnage, Angrath. That's what we got going on over here. Let's get another one of these things in. And... Yeah, definitely want another one of those things. What are we taking out? Yeah, maybe we just can't play another one of those. Hmm. Thought Razor out? I'm gonna take a soot out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go two duress, two thought erasure. I'm not. I'm not going to be taking creatures with a thought erasure. So let's just have a couple duresses because they only cost one mana and that can help us double spell, especially early on in the game. So I'm not. There's not creatures that I'm really going to be taking here. This hand will work. <laughs> Elder Spell is not the worst idea either. That could have been, that could be an okay option. So I know I'm gonna need two more lands for Immortal Sun, but also I want to fill. I want the graveyard to start getting filled for the Ascanta. Ooh, got that right in time. So double Carnage is really rough. I don't know if I can even. Can I even get to Immortal Sun if they just go, you know, Carnage, Carnage? So, like, next turn I'm playing Kefnet. I mean, obviously I ditched, ditched the Tyrant's Corn. It's not going to do anything, but... Like, if they're just going to go Carnage next turn, they're just going to make me discard this Immortal Sun anyway. I guess we kind of forced them to do it. Nah, I'm just going to get rid of it. Basically, I'm getting rid of it because I, I want that land. Um, because with Ascanta, like whenever you flip Ascanta, if you're spending three mana on activating Ascanta, you're going to need like a good amount of other lands also. So valued having that land drop there. Because, yeah, we would have just discarded the Immortal Sun anyway. Those are good. I 
So I definitely want this card, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'm planning on getting puppy emotes. That is certainly in in the plans. So we're down to eight, then we'll go up to twelve. Sure. We can reveal blast zone. I'm holding this in case of Frenzy. Really don't want to see Angrath. I want to wait. Hopefully they can wait a turn before playing Angrath. Honestly, maybe I should have just Immortal Sun first. Honestly. But that's fine. Because, you know, Angrath takes my, my four power thing. It's Friday. Or fry yay. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I think Immortal Sun would reduce the cost of the Kefnet copy. Because, yeah, you're casting it. Yeah, that should work like that. Yeah, Kefnet's so good. GG, Robert. GG's there. Our Kefnet just took over that third one, but definitely three really good games there. Yeah, those are those are three good games there. Um. Oh no, you've you've lost every time you've been on stream. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Robert. That's rough. I'm sorry to hear that. All right, well, uh, we played our four matches there with Kefnet Control. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and move on to Abzan Angels actually here. Uh, this deck does take a long time to win. Um, but it's it's really not it's not so bad though if you like control X and you don't like planeswalkers this can be a good option you know get to um, win games through Kefnet and Immortal Sun um, yeah the popper decks up on stream decker yep Farkle has that right right there um, I don't know anything that I'd want to change immediately. Didn't really seem like anything I would necessarily want to change. Um, yeah, I liked it. I think it worked out pretty good. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button as well. But that's it for Kefnet Control, and I hope to see you for another video.